Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm doing your quick advice love focus readings for the week starting August 17th, 2015. This reading is for coupled and single Pisces. Before I start, I want to say thank you for all your support, for your likes and shares and subscriptions, all your beautiful comments and feedback. Thank you um, to all of you who've had private readings with me. I truly appreciate the opportunity you've given me to provide some insight. I'm very grateful. Okay, um, please bear in mind these are general readings and so they may not apply to all of you watching. Um, please take what resonates with you and your situation. Um, alternatively, you can get a private reading specific to you um, if you email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information you need regarding types of readings, costs, what the process is to get your reading scheduled. Okay, so for coupled Pisces, you have the two of earth with seek the truth. Okay, the Two of Earth is about too much going on at once. It's about the need to make a decision and the need to consider a more playful approach to making this decision. So for some of you, you have to make a decision this week regarding your partnership and you are not sure what to do because you don't have all the information. For others, um, for others of you who are in a partnership, uh, you may find yourself interested in someone else this week and that gives you a decision between staying in the partnership or leaving this partnership and starting a new one and you need to figure out what to do. For others, um, you've received some information that has shaken the partnership you're in and you have to decide what to do about it and so this week you are seeking the truth of the situation. Uh, you're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your partner, you're having um, heartfelt discussions, you are talking to those around you, talking to friends, talking to people who may be involved, trying to be objective and find what the truth is before you can make a decision about the situation. For some of you, you have been um, holding back something from your partner. You've been keeping a secret and this week it comes to light. It comes to light that you've been holding something back and you have to decide whether or not you want to share this secret with your partner. Whether or not it's time for you to do that. For others, it's simply a week where you have to make a decision regarding your partnership or a decision regarding the well-being of your partnership, of you and your partner, and you are simply gathering information. It could be choosing between two houses, choosing between two locations to move, and you are gathering information about which one would be best for you and your partner. What you need to remember is winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. Okay, so... Winter is all about the completion of a project, the completion of um, a stage. The card speaks about um, the need to take a rest, the need to step back and be objective, the need to um, take a rest, go within, um, meditate, use your intuition, 
to find the answers you're looking for. Um, the card is also asking you to um, remember your friends and family. Remember that you can turn, turn to them for advice, for support. To find out um, what you need to find out to reach the conclusions you need to reach this week. For single Pisces, you have the Queen of Earth with Seek. Okay, the Queen of Earth is about making time for those around you. It's about taking a sensible approach to things, dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Okay, the Queen of Earth is someone who's very creative, very warm, very sensible, thoughtful, down to earth, very grounded. Uh, for some of you, this is an earth sign coming in this week. Um, earth signs are Taurus, Virgo or Capricorns. So this is an earth sign coming in. Making you an offer or sparking your interest. And um, they have potential. Um, if you do start a relationship with them, um, the relationship has great potential for wealth, stability, um, of family life, the long term. They could be the mother or the father of your children, basically. For others of you, you could be receiving messages this week. You could be receiving messages from two people. One of them could be a Taurus, expressing their interest in you or asking you out or extending an invitation to dinner or movies or just a walk in the park out in nature. Um, for others of you, you could be meeting someone while you're out in nature. Um, a walk in the park, um, in a garden. Or wherever you go outside to clear your head and meditate, I'm getting for a few of you. But there's definitely... Um, potential for someone coming in this week. Definitely a note sign for some of you. And if they're not a note sign then um, it's someone who's very grounded down to earth. Um, maybe someone who has their own business, someone who's successful um, in business. Someone who's very creative, someone who is um, always improving things, making things grow, developing things. Someone who's very thoughtful and very kind. What you need to remember is be yourself. This situation calls for you to um, be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. Okay, so. What the card is telling you that when you meet this person, um, the way to win them over, if you will, the way to win their hearts is to simply be yourself, to simply be genuine, because uh, they're very intuitive and they see if you're being fake or if you're pretending to be someone you're not. So if you are yourself when this person comes in, that is what they will appreciate, your authenticity and your, um, you being genuine and true to yourself. For others, this is telling you that um, you need to let your guard down this week, especially when this person is coming in, you need to let your guard down and let them in. Accept them into your life, accept their um, offers, their proposals.
for others of you, the card is telling you to um, be true to yourself. Don't settle. Don't accept things you shouldn't be accepting. Don't put up with um, people who are just wasting your time. And your intuition is going to tell you who the right person is. Um, if you meet multiple people this week, or if you deal with multiple people on a weekly basis, your intuition is going to guide you to the right person. And all you have to do is be yourself. Okay? So that is what I see for Pisces for the week of August 17th, 2015. Please like, share, subscribe, and definitely comment and give me some feedback. Let me know how these cards apply for you in your particular life situation, if they do. Um, thank you again for all your support. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll see you again next week. Take care.